Toto Diki has finally forgiven her husband. Well, I think that is a good news. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are new around the air, it'll be awesome if you guys go and click on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Then turn on the bell notification to get notified anytime I drop new videos. We're almost at 13k, so smash that subscribe button and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated in the entertainment industry. Well, what do you say? Do it! Just do it! But before I talk about Tonto DK, there's this sect of girls, or should I say ladies, that has come online to, you know, do the prank and saying um, this giving celebrities should locate them wherever they are. Well, they are DM to be specific. I think this is for fun, but let us watch the video and let me hear your opinion in the comment section below. Here we go! Soon they eat no! Soon they eat no! I eat it like ah! Uh, I eat it like ah! Uh. Locate me and send me that DM right now! Send me that DM! Bamba Maje! Bonjazi! I command you! See me as your Iwana! Sorry to my dear! I am your Kalabachi. I am the one. The last poster. My lady. Send her to guys think about this well for me i think this is very hilarious the girl is one to take a lot of jokes for for real this is fun and it's entertaining moving on princess shingo has finally revealed her sexuality status no, well God, popular please, actress no. princess shingo has once again made her sexuality status known the sexy screen diva who has on numerous occasions been spotted posing in a seductive manner with a female partner and also with a male partner has disclosed that she is bisexual. Surprise, Princess Shingo made this known via a video posted on her Insta stories on Instagram. According to her, she is not shy of her sexuality status or embarrassed as it pleases her. She added that she likes boys and girls. Well, here's a video clip of her saying it. Roll it. Yeah. You guys know I swing both ways, right? I love boys. I love girls, so I'm a proud bisexual girl. I have nothing to be embarrassed about. What do you guys think about this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And are you guys happy with this? Or I don't know. I cannot say. I don't judge nobody. But let me hear your opinion in the comment section below. Moving on to the main highlight of today. Popular Nollywood actress. Tone to DK finally reveals why she has to forgive her husband. Well, in an interview, she disclosed that she's doing it for their son. But what do you guys think? I think Churchill, the two minutes man, uh, two seconds man, as she actually said previously, that was what led to their breakup. Well, I think there are more to it. But she has forgiven her husband. And I like that peace reigns. Probably... They might come back together. If you guys are hoping for them to come back together, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe button. We're almost at 13k, so go there and subscribe, please. Well, let us watch the interview. Roll the clip. Uh, what is your attitude to forgiveness and vindictive? The opposite of vindictive. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, a, a man, a, a man I love, uh, I love, I respect, um, always talked to me um, about forgiveness. And um, I've come to realize that forgiveness is not about the next person. You know, I, I know that. I know forgiveness is not about the next person. But how 
the, the, the explanation I, I got recently, it wowed me. It, it's just, it says that I'm forgiving you, not because you have to be forgiven. I'm forgiving you because I do not want to put myself in a place of stagnation when it comes to growth. I don't want to put myself in a place of stagnation when it comes to love. I don't want to put myself in a place of worship when it comes to progressing. I don't want to put myself in, in a place of stagnation when it comes to my career because forgiveness is not, forgiveness is a whole lot. It's a whole lot. And I only just realized that the Bible says that if we do not forgive, God cannot forgive us. All these things are in the Bible and it's there, but we just never really, we never really made an impact to me until someone really explained it. So for today, I'll tell you that forgiveness is something that for me, it comes, it comes really easy. I, I forgive a lot, but I just don't like to get provoked with things that you do after it over and over again. But I think forgiveness is an essential thing for one's group. Like I said, forgiveness is not all about the other person is for you. Is there anyone you won't forgive in your life? Is there anyone? Is there anyone? anyone after anyone. the moment, there is nobody I have not forgiven. There's nobody at this moment. 2000, what's today's date now? Um, so I think we're in 26th July 2020. As, as today, there's nobody that I hold a grudge on. But there are people who I have forgiven, but I would never have a relationship with again. Sorry? And then you don't start. Everything is fine. Oh, yes. Especially him. I forgive him and wish him the best. For my son's sake, I do. Of course. Why not? Why not? Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. I said, in those days, did you reject any role in a movie? That, oh, no, I don't yes. want this. Yes. Yes, I did. I, Why? I, I, I was right. one artist who didn't like um, stereotype. I didn't like to be stereotyped. And um, Nollywood had this habit. If you, if you watch most of um, Uncle Peter Duce's film, it never changes. Only his name changes. His words never even changes. His character never even changes. Nothing changes. Maybe sometimes his clothes even changes. But his name is only the constant thing that changes. It, they always give him the same role all the time. I, and I wonder why he takes it. But then again, I, I mean, he's a veteran. So why I'm, not, I'm never going to question that. So um, I said that to say this, that um, sometimes when you're good at a role, Nollywood would want to impose that role on you. They want to just give it to you until the whole world just gets tired of your talents because you're playing just one particular role. So if I play the bad girl role, I never wanted to play it again. For me, it was not the money. You know, it, it went for me coming into Nollywood. It, 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 I knew I wanted to grow, definitely. But it was not about money. It was about being good and being one of the best. Being an unforgettable talent, not just being a talent. You and I got a bit closer, I think, to sometime last year when you yeah. got in Dubai. You know, a lot of people called me secretly privately oh toto is in trouble toto is this mm -hmm. and when they, oh they caught her with drugs they? <laughs> and they contacted you and you told yes. them yes. i could out about it so but what yes. really happened tell us oh okay no it was um far from it, it was not drugs because if they did of course definitely you never you i'll not be I, I would i would be in jail you know um, so no, it was had nothing to do with drugs. It had nothing to do with alcohol, even. Um, you know, um, I, I really don't want to go into so much about Dubai because it's a place where I have a home now, and I want to be able to enter into Dubai freely after all of this, you know. And that's why I really never talk about it. But I was insulted by one of the guards. He he said something very de derogatory to me, and um, he, he he said it in Arabic. I think um, Lebanon. It's called Sharamuta. It means prostitute. It means a cold girl, you know. And I was, I, I was not so dressed. At, I mean, it was a show, right? So I had like a very amazing bra inside, and I had this, you know, blazers on top. It, to them, it's haram. You know what haram means? To them, yes, it's haram I, when yes. you're not dressed properly. Yes. Yeah, so to them, it's haram. So yeah. So that's where all of the altercations started and everything. So. That was the, that was the only problem. So everything, every anything aside that, it was just all wrong information. That was the only problem I had, you know. And um, yes, and also trying to film. Yeah, I was trying to film the situation. They said that was wrong. So that was it. That was just the only thing.
This will mark the end of today's video. If you are yet to subscribe and you've watched this video to the end, please, what are you waiting for? Please make sure to hit on the subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will really, really appreciate that. Thank you and God bless you. Peace out.